I kind of pride myself on being a, a mad person. You know, I'm, uh, I'm mad when I wake up in the morning. I'm mad when I go to sleep at night. In the daytime, I look at things that could uh, that make me mad. You know? When I say mad, I mean make a difference. Fifteen years ago now, I think we've been with hunger busters. And to start that off, I had a, had a priest, a good friend of mine, from my senior, was retiring. And he wanted to do something, he wanted something to do, so I said, okay, his name is John Wagner, Father John. We found that there's, there are soup kitchens around and all, but there's street people that needed to be fed. So he said, how do we get to them? So we got, a, got an old FedEx truck and fixed the inside up. So I was my restaurant people, we fixed the inside up. We're going to take to feed the street people, the people that don't want to go to shelter. Mike Rollins got involved with the homeless, the homeless bar. And, he came up with this uh, the bridge concept, which I thought was good. I helped him. I helped him uh, feed the people before he got his up and running. We helped him get that started and kicked off. So finally, when they were taking care of at the bridge, I said, well, we got to find another need to feed. So how do we stop them from getting into the cycle in the first place? What's the prevention? How do we prevent them from becoming homeless in the first place? Once they get there, you know, it's kind of it's hard to get out. So we went from Feeding the homeless, I think, the homeless prevention program. Preventing some of these kids from becoming homeless. Some of our logos and our advertisements is a fork and a pencil. Saying without one, you can't use the other. And right now we're feeding 150,000, 150 to 160,000 meals a year to these underprivileged schools, the after school program. It's worked out very well, we're very happy with it. The teachers just embraced it, the principals have embraced it. It's really making a difference, making a difference. It's a mad program within our school program. When you do something, you always try to get better. How can we make it better? What can we do to get better? We, all, we have we raise it through charities, we raise it through going out and, and donations, uh, we raise it through a uh, uh, golf tournament we have every year. We go out to corporate, major corporations in Dallas and have them support and buy a, adopt the school. They get a big plaque at their, at their office, you know, and they, at the school they get a plaque. You come by and volunteer, or show you the program, you get to see it. And you know, what's good about it is, is you, you're bringing it out there and, and you can see it being done. It, it, it helps the people that are doing it and it helps the people that are receiving it. One in four children in DISD has a food insecurity issue. When they're not fed, all they think about is whether or not they're gonna have dinner. Please join us this year for the 2014 Christmas tree lighting ceremony on November 23rd and help us help Bill Romano make a difference because he's mad and help the Park City's Rotary Club with our mission in service above self. Thank you.